Hi everyone, let's dive straight into the problem today. There are 25 problems in a test. 4 marks is given for each correct answer and 1 mark will be detected for each incorrect answer. Jimmy scored 65 marks. How many of his answers were incorrect? So for first, uh, we are going to use uh, guess and check method or you can also call it as trial and error method. To do that, we are going to draw a table first. The columns of the table are number of correct answers and the marks that is awarded for each correct answer. As you have seen here, four marks is given for each correct answer. So it's four and number of incorrect answers. And for every incorrect answer, one mark will be detected. So it is minus one out of the total. And then we put in the total marks. So once we have this, let's go ahead and substitute values in there. Number of correct answers. First, we are going to assume that all the answers are correct. So we have 25 here. And the marks obtained is 4 for each correct answer. So 4 times 25, that is equal to 100. Number of incorrect answers. Obviously, right now it's going to be 0. So we don't have any marks detected. So total marks is 100 minus 0 is 100. Now what you're going to do is this 100, uh, the marks that is Jim, Jimmy obtained is 65 and that is less than 100. So we will reduce the number of correct answers here by 1 in this case, 24. And 24 times 4 gives 96. That's the marks obtained because of the 24 correct answers. There's one incorrect answer and because of that one mark is detected. So 96 minus 1 is 95 which is the total marks. So again what we're going to do next is reduce it one more because we haven't yet reached 65. These numbers are way far beyond 65. So once we put 60, 23 here, 23 times 4 equals 92 marks obtained and there are two incorrect answers so the marks detected is minus 2 so 23 minus 2 gives 9 sorry 92 minus 2 gives 90 so when we can look at this and we see that there is a pattern that is uh, coming up here and what is it every time we reduce the number of correct answers and increase the number of incorrect answers the total goes down by 5 right so there is between these two there is a difference of 5 again between these two there is again a difference of 5 so we are sure that it is going to keep on decreasing by 5 we don't want to keep writing everything so what we are going to do is first write down the correct or the actual marks scored by Jimmy which is 65 now, nine from 90, we have to keep reducing 5, 5, 5 up to 6, 65. So what we need to figure out is how many 5s are there between these two. So how, how many 5s should be reduced from 90 so we get 65. So Please uh, do not look at this right now. So what we need to do here is 90 minus 65 equals 25. So there are 25 marks between 90 and 65 and every time you jump we actually have 5 reduced so 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5 which means we just have to do 5 jumps down this is supposed to be hidden right now but it is it is showing up so please don't uh, worry about this first thing is how many 5s are there and how much do we have to jump we have to jump uh, 25 marks from 90 to 65 so the difference is 25 and this 25 is divided into 5 right every jump is 5 minus so how many 5s are there there are 5 5s there so now 23 minus 5 that gives us 18 that is the number of correct answers and 18 times 4 is equal to 72 is the number of uh, is the marks obtained because of that and incorrect answers it increased by 5 so 2 plus 5 equals 7 and because of the incorrect answer 7 incorrect answers uh, the mark is reduced by 7 so minus 7 72 minus 7 gives 65 so this we have found out what is the total number of correct answers and 
number of incorrect answers. So the question here is also about how many of his answers were incorrect. So the number of incorrect answers is 7. That's it by using the trial and error method. We can actually go ahead and see how this can be done in algebra. The same problem, there were 25 problems in a test. 4 marks is given for each correct answer and 1 mark will be detected for each incorrect answer. Jimmy scored 65 marks. How many of his answers were incorrect? We know that uh, there are two unknowns in this. That is the number of correct answers and number of incorrect answers. So let assume that number of correct answers be x. It could be any value. So we are assigning uh, a generic value x. And then number of incorrect answers, we are assuming it to be y. Now what we need to do is try to find the relationship between them, how they are related and form equations using them. So the first equation that we can form is we know that uh, total number of problems is 25 which means number of correct answers plus number of incorrect answers that should be equal to 25 so that's our first equation then second one four marks is given for each correct answer and minus one or one mark is detected for each incorrect answer now four times x minus 1 times y that should be what Jimmy's score should be so that will form the second equation here so this is called a simultaneous equation so we have two equations and we are going to use elimination method to resolve and find out the values of x and y so what is elimination method what we are going to do is take these two and in this case add them when we add them x plus 4x will become 5x y minus 5 will become 0 and 25 plus 65 gives you 90 so now in this x is going to be equal to 90 divided by 5 which is 18 so 18 is the number of correct answers so once we know this we know y because x plus y equals 25 so number of incorrect answers would be 25 minus 18 which is 7. I hope this was useful. Uh, do leave your comments so I will know if this has been useful for you guys. Have a great day. Bye.